Hey guys, thank you for checking out this episode. We'd love your support by heading to patreon.com forward slash freshly grounded. It really does make a difference in helping us continue making this content. And if not, no stress. Enjoy. Assalamu alaikum guys. Welcome to Freshly Grounded uh, episode 170 something. Uh, we're just going to bring Sam in in a second. We're having a few... Uh, I've seen to all my split screens and everything seems to have disappeared. So if you give you guys give me a second, I'm gonna bring it all back, and uh, we can bring Sam into the mix now. Oh, there's Sam, there's Faisal. Let's put us both together. Assalamu alaikum, Sam. We're good. <laughs> Wa alaikum assalam. You okay, bro? Yeah, alhamdulillah, man. How's things with you? Yeah, good, man. Alhamdulillah, very good, very good. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Yeah. It's uh, it's uh, it's been a long time coming. Do you know what, bro? To be honest, for the fact that we're doing this over like Skype. Alhamdulillah, your quality is really, really good. Is it? Yeah, what, what, what lighting have you got on there? What makeup brand are you using right now? Sorry? Sorry? Huh? No, 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 not, nothing, sorry. Uh, yeah. Bro, um, sorry. <laughs> uh, welcome guys to Fresh Grounded episode 170 uh, something. Um, before we get into it, um, the main thing that obviously we want to mention that it's Ramadan and in Ramadan uh, I don't know when this is going to go out but we are shooting this in Ramadan and it will definitely go out in Ramadan inshallah and we're raising money this month for um, Spot and what we're doing is we're raising money for a uh, girl school so um, Spot have been able to build this um, Alhamdulillah with the help of you guys you guys have had a massive hand in it I think altogether freshly grounded listeners have raised um, probably just over or just around £25,000 now about £30,000 for Spot and um, you can see, and Sam and I have been there twice, but Sam's been there three times, I've been there twice, and we planned to, we were actually meant to be there just last week, but Alhamdulillah, because of the virus, uh, we didn't end up going, uh, but inshallah, we're gonna be back there as soon as we're able to, uh, and what they're doing now is they're building a school for girls, and it's so important to build a school for girls, because young girls are very vulnerable, uh, especially poor young girls um, in the Gambia, and um, what Spot are doing is they're building a school where they can learn Quran and Sunnah and secular studies, so they can get employment, so they can build their community uh, and so that they can inshallah um, be safe as well and so our target was ten thousand pounds i'm hoping that by the time this episode's out we've reached it uh, as the t- at the time of recording we're at about we're at s- oh, just over six thousand pounds sam wow can you mad. believe that mad 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 incredible uh yeah man so uh, really so, so 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 if you guys want to donate um you can head over to the link uh which is um Spot the spot project I'm getting on the screen right now as we speak. Here we go, spotproject.org uh, forward slash freshly grounded. Um, Sam, anything you want to say about the spot project? I love the spot project. Um, incredible, incredible that we've been blessed uh, to see it from the beginning, uh, see it from the start. That's obviously yeah. where you and I, that's where you and I met, and it's ultimately where freshly grounded was born. So it will always hold a very sort of dear place in my heart, uh, Gambia and the spot project. Uh, it's just incredible, sort of seeing. Um, Going somewhere and hearing someone talk with such huge, um, with such a huge vision and a, and a, and a major big dream, uh, and actually to see it unfold and actually to see everything that you know we were told was going to happen has happened and more. I think it's incredible, mm. man. So I, I believe in it so much and I love it and I will support it to my dying breath, man. I love it. I love the Gambia. And I love Spot. Likewise, man. Um, and then lastly, guys, just before we get into the episode, um, Patreon. Uh, as you guys know, um, we at Freshly Grounded um, love creating content and if you guys want a bunch of extra content plus early releases uh, and plus you just want to support Freshly Grounded and help us to continue doing what we're doing, uh, head over to patreon.com forward slash freshly grounded and um, help us and help support the ting. You used to say, yeah, ting, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, let's get to the episode. Uh, let's do this. And welcome to Freshly Grounded, the brand new podcast by best friends Faisal and Sam. Huh? I welcome. I said welcome to Freshly Grounded. The, no, after that bit, the brand new podcast. And after that bit, by best friends Faisal and Sam. Really? Cool. We're on. Uh, Sam, how's it going, man? Yes, Faisal. Yeah, it's going well. It's going very well. Yeah. How's it going for you? Yeah. Alhamdulillah, man. Alhamdulillah. How, what, how's, how's lockdown treating you? Yeah, look, yeah, it's all right, man. It's all right, man. Yeah, alhamdulillah. It's okay, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. What about you? Yeah, yeah. Good. Got this yeah. set up going and stuff. So, yeah, yeah, yeah really excited. Alhamdulillah. Nice, nice set up right, you have here, man. 
Yeah, so I pretty much took over our bedroom, which um, yeah. it was an unpopular decision, but yeah. uh, I won the case. And yeah. um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, in the bedroom now, right now. I'm in the bedroom oh, okay. as well. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I can see your little setup as well. You've got the highly blessed caps at the back. There's two highly blessed caps there. Yeah, like one, one of them, one of them, one of them was, was there already, and I just put another okay. one there. Um, and it kind of looks like it's on my mini shop behind me now. Um, but I knew this is the only room I could escape to. No one's going to disturb me. So, so yeah. So it's how's that been? How's it been like being home with the kids and that? I mean, I know you're always home with the kids generally, but I mean, this yeah, is yeah. Like... Um, yeah, it's been, obviously it's, it's been amazing, bro. It's been amazing to obviously spend so much time with my kids. Um, it's um, I had I had a week's holiday before this before this whole lockdown came into place. I had a week's holiday before when I was with my kids every day, um, and obviously I got to spend a lot of time with them. It was amazing. So kind of like when the lockdown came, I thought, right, okay, cool, more time with the kids, amazing. And obviously it's just continued. It's been obviously been amazing, um, and obviously yeah, it's it's something that I've never usually been able to take a month out, literally spending every single day with my children. So yeah, it's been, it's been amazing. It's been testing, but it's been amazing since since the fasting's come into play. Slightly more testing. Uh, two very active young boys, always after something, whether it's attention, whether it's the sharp thing on the on the uh, on the edge of the kitchen, whether it's the glass vase, whether it's the flowers, whatever it is. There's always they're, they're always after something. But um, but no, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's testing, but it's good. Yeah, alhamdulillah. And I'm sure that you would be the first to say that you wouldn't want it any other way. In that, like, what person it is to be to have the two boys, to have of your course. little family that you have now. Alhamdulillah. And uh, you guys are doing Ramadan together. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Um, do you know how much we're smiling on my face to, to, to hear Zayden's Assalamu Alaikum the other day? Yeah, I think he got it on point as well, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 mashallah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was like, I, I, I played that to my missus. I listened to Zayden. He's like, because um, he was like, he, he was like, tell him, about, tell him he found a spider. He found a yeah, spider. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he just found a spider with a, with a daddy long legs. To be honest. Every time they find a daddy long legs, they come and find me and make me come and see it. Um, oh but yeah, that's no, fun. It's fun. But then you give me a little oh. salam. Salam alaikum, Faisal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah, man. How about you, bro? How's it at home? How's it? With, how's it with the family at home? It's good, man. It's good. Alhamdulillah. Um, so Zachary is six months now, uh, as of like a few days ago, um, or, or, or last week now, to be honest. Um, and I think that he's going through his six month sleep regression. Yeah. So, yeah. um, where he's ba he's so he's basically just fighting sleep at all costs. But you know what? I think that is the netma, alhamdulillah. And the reason I say that is because he's gone through it. He pretty much started the sleep regression like on day one of Ramadan, and that's uh, Ramadan is where generally you're up most of the night anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and he he seems to be waking up at Sahur time, and so it's okay. a netma because I'd rather that happen at um, Ramadan while I'm awake anyway than like you're constantly waking up out of your sleep to attend to it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, sure, so sure, to sure. be honest, it's a bit of an error. And as you know, bro, the sleep regressions don't last very long anyway. Nah, nah. So, I mean, I heard you say yesterday on, on your YouTube live. Um, did you watch a bit of that? Yeah, I did, of course. Um, and uh, talking about obviously being a dad in Ramadan and the you know the fact that before being a father, you'd probably, you know, obviously you'd, you'd, you'd pray your maghrib, you'd eat, you'd go to the masjid, you'd come back, you'd stay up till... Fajr, go back to the Masjid Fajr, you'll be up until maybe four in the morning sometimes. Mm, you, mm. you can sleep but you can sleep till whenever. It's just interesting, as soon as the children come into play, you realise you haven't got that luxury where you think you can just sleep till whenever. So for me, like for me, bro, uh, it's been get yeah, trying to get trying to get to bed early, man, during this during Same. this kind of month because I know that I've got to get up for obviously uh, to to do um suhoor, and then obviously my children wake up from sort of six AM, six thirty, so it's kind of it's a different setup. It's nice. It's beautiful. But I tell you what, the, the years before where it was like I would stay up until whenever, after, even after Fajr, I would stay up until the sun came up. And then I would sleep until Zuhur. I would sleep until like one o'clock. Those days, they're just, they're gone. It's it's, it's not gone. like, it's beautiful, but it's just, you know, I know I speak to a lot of brothers who are, are staying up all night and doing whatever and wondering why I'm not about. I'm going to sleep early. But it's just, a, it's a different setup. It's lovely. It's a different setup. Um, well, do you know what, bro? I was also saying yesterday that um, I was watching this teacher who said um, that Ramadan is a time where you should try and get the most reward out of all of the all of the goodness that you can get. And yeah. so that doesn't just mean staying up all night praying, which obviously in Ramadan is, is a massive reward for that. And yeah. you shouldn't belittle that at all and you should sure. strive for it. However, sure. if you can get a bit of reward by being like, um, you can look after the kids in the morning and that means that you've got to get an extra two hours sleep in the night or three hours sleep in the night. Um, as long as you have that intention that you're doing it for Allah's sake to to, yeah. to, um, 
to serve your family. Imagine the reward. You're, now you're not only are you getting an extra reward that um, that you weren't getting last year or, or, or the years before, course, yeah. but you're getting a reward that not everybody has the ability to get that reward because not everybody has. Um, is real family, so you got a special reward there that it's, it's like you can unlock that reward yes, that, yes. that other people might not be able to unlock. And you forget even even the little things like making them breakfast and feeding them breakfast. The, the reward behind that is just mm. is, is great. So yeah, of course, of course, absolutely, maximizing what we can do, isn't it? Um, yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's different. It's it's different. I mean, you know, everyone's in in different positions. Um, and I do love, obviously, the, I love Ramadan, the whole staying up late and stuff. But it's just not, for me at the minute, it's just it's not a reality. But again, I've, it's nice because I'm having some really beautiful days um, and kind of making the most of the days. So it's been nice. You know, sometimes you end up sleeping so much, you actually lose a lot of the day, which obviously can be mm. a plus to some people because obviously it's less fasting time. But when you've had some good rest and you've, and you've eaten a, a proper sahur, it feels great. It feels beautiful. So I'm, I'm enjoying my most most mid mornings i've been going out for like a decent bit of exercise and stuff so i'm actually enjoying that that morning and daytime of ramadan which i don't usually get to do so that's good. how's your diet been yeah good man since ramadan yeah good if you were to ask me what had my, my diet been during lockdown shambles. oh really really yeah. now first first few weeks in it was it was too relaxed and then i started realizing that it was too relaxed and kind of did something about it but now i've been i've been eating really clean uh since ramadan to the point where just a lot less than i ever usually eat. usually mm. i always talk about this about you know you'd obviously break fast and quite often you'd not everyone but you eat a reasonable amount you, you're quite hungry you drink a reasonable amount and then you eat a quite you know throughout and you eat some more sahur i've kept it so basic i've just had one meal iftar no no sweets or anything just one basic meal then loads of water and then just a bit of fruit for sahur and it's been it's worked perfectly man it's worked really nice for me really nice for me that's inspiring. Why? What about you? I've been locking off the big boy breakfast, bro. Well, I haven't been... slowed down. You haven't slowed Masahur. down? Masahur. Masahur's been big boys. Really? Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah. I, can't do it. I can't do it. Bro, what I've been back in like... All right, for Sahur, like for example, this morning I had a... <laughs> I had a... So my... <laughs> Go on. My mother-in-law last night. My mother-in-law sent a um, a cauliflower and um, lamb curry. Like in 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 Punjabi, you'd call it gobi gosht. Gobi right? gosht. Yeah. Yeah. So so which is that like cauliflower, um, either lamb or, or beef. I don't know. I don't know the difference. It's red, some kind of red meat um, and potato in a curry. Right. We didn't have that last night because we had already prepared iftar. So I had that this morning for sahur. So like a. You had a gobi gosht for sahur. Yeah, with some shana prata, bro. <laughs> how does that sit? Like, how does that sit for you? Uh, having like quite a large sort of bro, it meal? sits well. Does it? Solid. Yeah, yeah. guys, good. It sits well. Yeah. It sits well. Uh, I like a big breakfast, as you know, and uh, I haven't slowed down breakfast. However, I have slowed down iftar. So, so I, I, I too am eating a lot less. I'm eating a yeah. lot less. So iftar is a very small meal. Um, like to the point where. From day one, like I think on day one I had a, I had a wrap, like a small wrap, and then that was it, bro. I, then I had sahur, so I didn't snack yeah. at all. And on day two, I actually had, um, no, I think day one I had something else, but it was a similar portion size. And then on day two, I had the wrap. And on day yeah. two, I missed sahur, bro, and I was so upset. But I remember like last year or the year before, you came to Freshly Rounded one day, and, you're, and nice. I was like, bro, how's it going? And you were like, you were just, you're fit, you're just not in the mood. and. I was like, what's happened? You're like, I've missed two, guys. I've missed two. <sighs> I've missed two. I've missed two. Didn't miss Fajr, missed Sahur. Same, Didn't same. Fajr, Bro, I woke Sahur. up. I woke up like four minutes after Sahur. That's what I'm finished. saying, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was just after. In fact, one of them was I actually slept my alarm too long. In my head, I thought I've got longer. By the time I'd finished sleeping it, yeah, I double checked yeah. the time. I'd gone over by six minutes. Alhamdulillah. So, you know and what I've done now? And I woke up with a, with a dry throat. I had a dry yeah, throat. Yeah, yeah. This is just. Um, what were you, you going to say? Bro, when I woke up that day, same, same like you, I woke up hungry. Yeah. So I was thinking, if I'm waking up hungry, how am I about to do 16 hours? Yeah. No food or water. But anyway, yeah. what I've done now, it's, it's not happened to me since, because what I've done is um, I've grabbed my missus's phone and I put her alarm on in the room. Yeah. Yeah. And I put all, I leave the door open in, in, the, in the house. And because we have a one floor. Uh, flat, so it might be a bit harder for you. But I put my uh, my phone alarm for one minute later in the kitchen. 
up right? so you have to get up and go and stop it i have to go to the kitchen so yeah, i'm yeah. waking up i'm putting i'm turning her alarm off and i'm panicking thinking all oh, right one minute that one's gonna go off exactly you sleeping so i've got to, yeah, 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 that's yeah that's good that's good that's yeah, good, that's but good. Alhamdulillah, it's been keeping me awake because i bro, I, I can't miss a whole man um yeah, it changes. It, it makes it not so fun when you have. You can really feel mm. it when you haven't. Even, especially the water when you haven't kind of done that last bit of uh, drinking for me. You can really feel it. Kind of just less energy, man. And let's face it, you need as much as you can get on these days. Um, mm. So yeah, do do everything you can to try and get that sahur, man, because it, it changes the whole changes the whole game. I, I can't believe people who don't do a sahur like they just do twenty four hour fasts. It's insane. Do a lot of people do that? Yeah, man. People miss put some. A lot of people yeah. would uh, prefer course, sleep over Sahur. Yeah. Just wake up, yeah. play two of the cards, and go back to bed. You just got to remember that the reward and blessing in Sahur. So even if you're not hungry, mm. just try and nibble on a date and just remember the, the sun and the reward for it. Um, yeah, Sahur. You should. Yeah, definitely try and get that Sahur, and even if it's a drink of water, man. Essential. Yeah, Essential. So what else you been doing, bro? Skipping. But you- yeah, well, I was. Have, I you skipped, done much... have you skipped since you fasted? Nah, nah, not yet. Have I do you, plan to. I, I, will, I will, inshallah. No, yeah. I haven't, but I will, inshallah. The thing is, I, skipping the evenings is a bit tough because, um, obviously, if it, the sun would have set and it's pitch black darkness outside, and I don't have space inside the house, um, there's no like lights outside, so. You go to your um, car park. Yeah, I suppose there probably is some lights there, isn't there? Yeah, there would be lights there. In fact, there's probably quite a lot of uh, lights out there considering it's a uh, main road. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point yeah yeah, so yeah. I'll just skip in the main road yeah no, do yeah. Pay for me. I don't want you to get hit by a car <laughs> yeah yeah no you're right you're right I could but I'm not gonna bro I could I know you're not not gonna I know. Nah. how's your fitness been have you been exercising <laughs> yeah in yeah, Ramadan yeah in Ramadan yeah I've been walking around apart yeah, from like the walks said, yeah nice walks man I'm blessed that I've got the area around me has got some really like you walk two minutes during the field so um I did a big walk this morning, which was just beautiful, man. I really needed it, to be honest, because yesterday, not yesterday, the day before, I didn't really go out too much. And I felt a bit, I kind of just realised, actually, when you're not, when you're not, when I don't leave the house and do my little hour exercise or whatever, it, it gets to me. So I'm Would making sure I do Would you call that like exercise, a big walk? Huh? Would you call that exercise, a big walk? Uh, I'm definitely sweaty when I come back. Nice. My heart beats up. I'm going up and down hills. Depends what you, you'd class as a big walk, probably just down to the shop and back. But I'm going up and down, I'm going up and down through forests. Because right, you live hills, in the countryside. Over rivers. You haven't seen where I live, bro. It's, I have. It's not, it's not like London driven, where you live, it's different. I, dro- I dropped you home once. And you very con- and you very conspicuously um, didn't let me drop you right close to the house. She's like, yeah, somewhere around here is fine, bro. I, I actually dropped me on the, the main bit because otherwise you get stuck on the coast. Or was it because you didn't want me to see exactly where your new home is? I, I, I like the I, I like the old up. I like the old times where you used to let me pick you up from a right outside your door. Sometimes I'd even knock on the door. These I like days, the old times when you actually used to come pick me up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Used to be one of my favourite Ubers I've ever had with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> what was that big journey you took me one time? Where, where was it when you when you just said to go? I'm just going to take you back, and it was a big journey. I think it was. Oh, oh the do you remember? Down. The trains were down, and you kept on. Never forget that, Sam. I sat in the back of your car, and you actually talked to me like you're an Uber driver. You called me Sam <laughs> and asked if I wanted. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. I was joking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I asked you to give me five stars. Yeah, yeah. Why were you sitting at the back? Uh, just to make the whole kind of uh, experience more. Like Uber. Yeah, like Uber. Uber's struggling right now. Huh? Uber's struggling right now. Who is? Uber. Yeah, I know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Do you remember when we had that discussion about that argument about Uber in Dubai? <laughs> Bro, do you know what? Forget us. The people don't forget. I said to, we had one I argument. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, we've had one argument in our um, f- <laughs> what four uh four year friendship we had one argument alhamdulillah and the people haven't forgotten we yeah. had to have it on camera as well that's the only time in a podcast we've ever had that kind of argument debate kind of mm. feeling between us but um, yeah it wasn't much of an argument it was nah, it was um yeah and to be honest i totally agree with you now <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry but i do yeah so we went for that for no reason I know, but no, no, it was different. Things have changed. Things have evolved since then, anyway. I think if you remember, I slept on the floor after that. Uh, 
Yeah, I think you were gonna. Either way, you were gonna sleep on the floor. Yeah, I was sleeping on the floor anyway. <laughs> That's very kind of you, man. You. Uh... Well, let I let you in the room. Yeah, <laughs> you let me in the room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was nice. that 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 was fine. Yeah, that was a good little trip. <laughs> we, I think we speak about that trip a bit too often. Would, would you say you think we talk about it too much? Yeah, because I remember yeah. Shahid. Um, Shahid uh, messaged me one time, and he was like. He's like, oh man, like, I haven't been able to catch up on like Fresh Grounded in a few, you know, weeks or whatever or months. And he was like, I just uh, played an episode that you and um, Sam won recently, like your most recent episode. This was a couple months back. And he was like, you guys are speaking about um, uh, Dubai. And he goes, he goes, I'm so happy there was so much barakah in that trip because every episode I hear you guys talk about that one trip. I'm not being funny, but I, I always like talking about it. It was quite a positive time for me. It was, my, nice. it was my favorite. It was my favorite trip, and I'm. So, do you know what I'm happy about? I'm happy about the fact that we logged the whole thing. Every day of it was yeah. recorded, and it's on my YouTube channel. We have to understand why that was a special trip because that was a freshly grounded trip. That was like mm. we went there to do freshly grounded. It was, yeah. So it was, yes. It was a good trip, man. I'd love to try and ha that make that happen again. We talk yeah, about Gambia a lot. We talk about Gambia a lot. If we, if you went through yeah, the podcast, true. we there's a lot of times we've spoken about Gambia as well. I mean, we should go on more holiday, uh, more work trips. Not holidays, are they? They're not holidays. No, no, no we should go on more work trips. trips. They're fundraising. Trips, <laughs> no, no, but I'm talking holidays. about the Dubai one. Dubai one was a charity maybe, trip. Maybe for you, they're holidays, but for me, they're fundraising. No, no, no. They're... <laughs> I'm talking about the Dubai one. The Dubai one was a it was to not a charity trip. It was a work trip. No, that was a bus that was a business trip. The second part. Yeah, of yeah, work trip. But it wasn't a charity trip. That was a waste. I wouldn't of time. class a charity trip as holiday. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but yeah, the um, the the, the I, I came across a video on my YouTube. So, so recently, what I've done, as you know, I started uh, using my YouTube channel again, my personal one. Yeah. And so what I did is I spent a couple hours um, before Ramadan uh, and clearing my whole YouTube um, page. <clears throat> Just deleting, I remember telling, deleting it. Yeah, yeah. I remember telling you before that I wanted yeah. to... Uh, you know what's really interesting, Sam, is that I'm actually talking into this mic out of habit, but today I'm testing out not using this mic, and I'm, just, I'm recording it for backup purposes, but I'm actually using the other mic because... Uh, so it's a bit weird that I'm going like this, but anyway. So that mic's not actually... You're not even using that mic? It is recording as a backup because what okay. I found is that in these episodes, when the, when the when I'm using such a high quality microphone, and then the guests are using yeah, um, not a high quality microwave, it, not a high quality microwave, not a high quality microphone, it contrasts too much. So it's yeah. actually better to you to use two worse microphones than to use one good one and one bad, like not so good one. So yeah, I'm testing sense. using like a, a fairly bad one, but I'm recording this anyway. Uh, so there is actually benefit in me speaking into it in case I end up using using it. Um, Okay, bro, what I was going to say is, I was, so I decided to clear up my, my YouTube channel, right? And I just started deleting all these videos that I just feel are like so immature and so like not me anymore. Um, yeah. But I kept like all of the ones, all of the like freshly grounded kind of vlogs because I really enjoyed like watching some of them back. And so I came across, do you remember when we went to um, Bristol? Of course, man. Of course. Yeah. It was two years and ago, bro. Two years ago, and I, yeah. I, I, ended up, I watched that, I think yesterday I, I, I came across that video, and I looked at our iftar. Do you remember what our iftar was like? Do you remember what? Our iftar that day. How it started? Our iftar, our iftar. Our iftar, yeah, of course, yeah, I do, 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 I do. Bro, it was, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, like, like, five or six big chunks of watermelon each. Yeah. And I yeah. thought it was a platter for all of three of us to share. It was each. Plus loads of grapes. It was just like packed with fruit. And um, Longberg, you backed a lot of it. I think you finished yeah. it. Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah. There was, um, what, what, we had a lot, we had quite a few different dishes though that day, didn't we? Yeah, we had, uh, oh yeah, then we had a tagine or something. Tagine, yeah. Um, and then we, and we, 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 ended up, we ended up taking loads of it back as well. Yeah. Yeah, you were keen on that. You, I remember mean, you, you took it back, yeah. There's a quite a lot of food yeah. to take back, and you can never waste it, so we made sure it got somewhere. There's a lot of food. But obviously, the next day you're fasting, it's like, well, I can't eat it now. I don't yeah. want it to go off. What am I going to do with this whole boot, boot full of food? I think we put it in like a big black bag, didn't we? Like a bin bag. You put it in the bin, did you say? <laughs> no, not in the bin, but we put, it was oh, so much bag. food that we put it in the that was, bin that bag. That was the only bag food. that we could fit, um, we could actually find that would fit all that food in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I do remember it well, bro, because I was... Um, I've been chatting to Bo Aziz a bit recently, and obviously um, that was quite a big thing for him because obviously that, that those times he was he was working in that um, that cafe Coffee shop. He made us the yeah. iftar, and then from then he obviously went off and, and uh, started his new venture of um, 
went to Leicester and started up, you know, set up that was in the clinic and with his products and stuff. But I've been chatting to him. Yeah, it's interesting. It was, yeah, two years ago, it was good. I love Bristol. I think we had, did yeah, we, have an argument on the, we had an argument on the way back actually from Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, I, and again, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, mad, I'm a man enough now to say, hands up, we live and learn. And I'll probably approach that whole conversation. But bro, you have got to live and learn, man. Nah, you know, man. You, you, you know, we just had, yeah. I'm a passionate no. guy, bro, and if I'm behind something, I'm passionate behind it. And you know, you're an intelligent guy that maybe thinks probably a little bit more no. deeper into I'm, things. I'm, so. I'm naive. I'm naive and inexperienced and young, and so I have the luxury of being naive and getting away with like not understanding everything. So yeah, yeah. I think it was a bit. Of, it was a bit of both. I'm not young anymore, man. I found my first grey hair. Really? Where is it? Well, for, I mean, I knew I wasn't young when my hair started receding, but now that fact that it's, it's I've got a grey one, um, oh, yeah. it's somewhere like up here. Yeah, I've got the same, bro. I mean, it's sticking out just here. It's really like it's strange. It's I mean, like it's longer. understandable for you. Why? You're like late late, well, when you're in your late thirties, late thirties. <laughs> so, I'm saying when a person gets when a person starts approaching old age. Uh, I think it's worrying that a seventeen-year-old has got a grey hair. <laughs> I do. You know what I think is worrying. I think it's worrying that um, someone who should be uh, shielding uh, is going out on daily walks. Um, as an elderly member of the society, bro, you should be looking after people's <laughs> affairs. Actually, bro, do you, swear, do you want? Do you need anything? To, do you, do you need anything, bro? To, bro, I swear in your culture you're supposed to show respect to older people and uncles, no? I feel like you just. <laughs> I swear you just just, just take the mic out of me most of the time, bro. No, show I show you a lot of respect, respect bro. Uh, do you know what? I show so much respect that I'm, I'm just saying uh, I'm, I'm, I might need to pop out today to get some emergency uh, items. Do you need anything? <laughs> I don't want I'm you to. I'm 30 years old, bro. A long birdie. Wow. How nice. old are you? Uh, I'm 26 now. Wow. Wow. To be fair, a long birdie. In all honesty, um, 30 years old, and I'm 26, and I, I honestly think that you look a lot better than I do at 26 at 30. Like a long birdie, you've got you can maintain the airline. You got one grey hair, and like nah. I'm like here, like hot my, my hunchback because of how much I use nah, that job. Nah, now, to be bit. fair, you recently just listen to me as well. Recently, you've been looking a little rubbed out, okay. But <laughs> since you've had that trim, whoever you went to for that trim has nice you, and you brought it back to life, man. And I rate that. And you look amazing, <laughs> bro. But you're looking a little bit rubbed out. So the first bit of this lockdown, I was gonna say, bro, are you sure you want to do any more filming? Man's looking a little rubbed, but you look great. I uh, know, bro. Did up. you see that? the episodes I was pulling out, bro? And I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared. I think it was great. Have you, told, have, you, have, you, have you told the public about like what's happened to it? I haven't, but I'm not shy. Um, yeah, because, because I think because I... otherwise people might think you've gone to a barber, like I did. Yeah, um, I got my wife to cut my hair. Wow, and she actually gave you a skin fade, didn't she? Yeah. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah she gave me a skin fade. A little bit grown out now, but you sent me the before and after picture, and I actually couldn't believe like how well she'd done. I thought it was really good. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would actually put the uh, before and after picture up on on the screen, but I, that before picture was. Yeah, I, right. I, I, I wouldn't want my worst enemy to see my best friend. I would. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I wouldn't want anyone to see that. Well, I did show you. Uh, but what I will do is I'll pull the after picture up on my. Uh, no, do the before the and after, man. Ah, oh, bro, I can't. Oh man, let people see the difference because you're looking a little bit rubbed. No, no, I can't, bro. It's very bad. Please, just quickly. <laughs> no, 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 you say flash it, but people can screenshot, bro. I know, I can't, no, 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 no. I can't do that. It's, it's very bad. Um, uh, but here's what I can do. Let me get a picture. Do you know what? I'm going to make a before and after picture right now. Because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a screenshot of like an episode I did. Because I was looking robbed, bro, in them episodes. And uh, I'm going <laughs> to... Alright, here we go. Alright, I've got a screenshot now from the episode I did with Bakar. And I'm going to crop that. Right now, boom, and I'm gonna put that as a before and after. Save to photos. Um, let's do this. <laughs> but anyway, but, uh, while we while I'm doing this, we'll, um, yeah. Um, so I basically said to her, I said, um, I, I I said, do you wanna um, have a go at cutting my hair? Yeah, and how did she? What did she say? She's like, are you sure you want me to show that? You must be desperate. How, <laughs> did, you, how think, did you approach it? Where did you get the guidance, the guidance and like the know-how to be able to do it? 
Um, well, I actually wanted to hold you, but I know you're extremely busy, and so I didn't want to bug you. And so I ended up just going on YouTube, and uh, she followed something on YouTube. Okay, great. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, so here we go. Okay. But yeah, she did a good job. But, but to be fair, it took like two and a half hours, or maybe even close yeah, to three. It so it doesn't matter, but yeah. it's, like, it's, it's all about what the outcome's like, and it looked good. So I, was, I rated it. I was just a bit worried. I was like, where, why has Faisal been going to the barbers if we're supposed to be on lockdown? I was thinking, what barbers are open eat now? But to stick it on you, to be honest. I know. I'm gonna put. Do you know what, bro? I'm gonna put this before and after picture on Instagram, maybe actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why not? Now, now are that I'm like, are, are, you it, are you editing it now to show us now? Or are you gonna put it on? <laughs> edit it onto the thing later. No, I'm editing it to show you. I'm putting it on the screen. The okay. thing is, you it's, you won't be able to see on. Yeah, it's you won't be able to see. Concentration <laughs> away from the podcast again. You won't be able to see it on the screen because I'm the one who has the software on my end. But I'll show okay. you on my phone. I'll show you. Uh, yeah, on my phone. You already seen it, bro. I don't know. You don't need to see it again. Yeah, but it's, it's would true. it be nice to see it again? Yeah, it might as well show me. Yeah. All right. First of all, let's chuck it on the screen for a second. Um, boom. Let's have a look. Okay, there we are. All right, so there we go. That's on the screen. Oh my gosh, it's not even small, bro. Like it came oh. on the, it came on like, the entire screen. Uh, can really? I make that smaller, maybe? <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we are. So there's the before and after picture uh, for you uh, who wanting to watch. And um, do you know what, Sam? For you, I'll send you a WhatsApp of what's on the screen right now. Oh no, you can't. You you can't see it. Now don't go. Don't send me WhatsApp. I'm not going to send WhatsApp. I already know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, you know. All right. Anyway, um, so yeah, my, my miss got me. It's the strongest. It was needed, bro. It was getting peak. It was getting peak, man. Huh? I said it was getting peak. It's the strongest your beard looked as well, isn't it? I thought it was. It looked really strong in that picture. Thick and yeah, combed it out. Combed it out. Yeah. Good. 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 Uh, I that's good. Uh, how, so, so, bro, how's um? I see that you've opened uh, the Jordan store now, Alhamdulillah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe looking to open Ireland. Uh, I can imagine that this has been like you're probably in. You're in one of the, I'd say, like the top five fields that um, this lockdown has affected in terms of business the most. With that being like um, um, restaurants, retail. Um, uh, uh, theatres and, uh, and entertainment and then I'd literally say barbershops literally like in the top three or four so how's that been? How's it been? Um, it's been an interesting experience man um, obviously an experience that we've never had to deal with before um, it was at first when it was all kind of happening there was a small element of like excitement around it and I don't know I kind of envisioned maybe we'd shut it for two weeks and then maybe it would go back to normal and whatever so kind of closed it down thinking yeah fine let's just do obviously we have to do it and everyone else is doing it and this country's doing that and so we obviously went with it um, and I suppose the reality kind of sunk in a little bit um, that I've closed I've closed our shops and I've closed my shop that I never close I'm mean, not even on Christmas Day we even we even go in on Christmas Day and, and, and cut hair on for the homes on Christmas Day that's how passionate we are about making sure that shop is is open it's you know it's open seven days a week so the fact that it's been open I'm sorry closed now for over a month uh, yeah, bro, I'll be honest, it's devastating because I love it. But I totally understand that and many people are in the same position and it's something that we have to do and it's not something I'd ever argue against or whatever, but my real feelings is, is devastating because I love it. It's my baby and currently it's 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 closed. Um, but it's been a very interesting time um, as a test to see, you know, how people have reacted to it and, and for myself um, as an owner of a business of how I can continue being productive I mean, basically ensuring that this business, you know, is still a business to go back to after this lockdown. So it's been, it's been, um, it's been interesting, bro. I hope we never have to live anything like through this like again because, yeah, it's uh, it's causing a lot of problems. And I think afterwards, when we go back, we're going to see a lot of problems are going to start catching up with us. Mm. Um, but for me, Alhamdulillah, all my shops have been secured. We've we've sorted out rent. We've sorted out rates. We've sorted out like what we can do we secure um so if we can go back in the next month or so inshallah we can pick up where we left off and, and carry on um 
but you know there's a small element of, of worry and fear that the, the there might be some problems when we go back and, and whatever, but but no, I'm confident. I'm very very confident that when we do go back, we are going to go back stronger. I'm so much more grateful for everything that, that I've got and everything that we have. As is everyone in the men's bar team, we're all in communication every single day. We've been doing staff training every single day. We're talking every single day. I'm I, myself and Josh have been doing some sort of work every single day. A lot of the lads are doing work, so. There's a lot of there's a lot of momentum, a lot of things going on still. But for me, really, bro, as you know, like my my key role and key job is to be in in the salons, making sure the salons are running and operating, you know, the best they can be. And currently, I can't do that. So it's just been the case of, cool. How can I, how can you know, we build and strengthen this? Well, I can't get in the shops. So when we come back, it's gonna be it's gonna be there basically. So um, so yeah, alhamdulillah for everything, bro. But yeah, it's been, it's been challenging. It's been challenging and testing. And I won't lie. I mean. Every time I speak to someone, I'm always I'm writing the same message, the same positive message, and I am positive. But yeah, it, you know, it's it's crazy, bro. Like I said, it's like my, my, I love working. I love I love I love Menspire. I love I love it all. I love my teams. I love everyone, and the, it's all being taken away. So it does hurt, uh, and I won't I won't come across like I'm being negative. But I, you know, the people I love, I can't see, and I can't we can't everything that we've been building for the last I say ten years has been put on pause. So you know, I can feel it. I can feel it, but I tell you what I can feel is gratitude as well so much uh, that how grateful I am for everything that I've got there and even here and just can't complain. But it's just it's been it's been healthy, man. It's been this thing has been healthy for me so far, and I really it's predictable thing to say I can't wait to go back and, and show the world what we can do and and you know the levels of, of what we want to achieve. And I don't I, you know although we've got we have these huge plans already, I think this has just been a little reminder. Um, for me, anyway, it's been a reminder of you know what's important, and yeah, you know, yeah. So that's it, basically. That's yeah, it. man. I think it's affected. I think it's affected everybody in like some sort of way. But but like I said, I can imagine it just being so frustrating when you not only have one shop but like a whole like um, you know heap of shops. But inshallah, may Allah put barakah in it and, and I mean, increase you. And and, and so, um, so the good the good news I is we've had using it positively. Jordan Aman is back now operating and working. So the Four Seasons Salon is open as normal. Everyone's healthy. It's busy. People are getting cut. People are wearing masks, gloves. Hygiene is up. But all of our, obviously, all of our salons, the hygiene is such a high level anyway. So yeah. It's now, it's now just implementing those extra little bits to make sure that we're doing our bit. So Barcelona is going back to work next week. So for me, like, I'm really going to, on my social media, I'm really going to push this because in the industry that we're in, um, I want people to see that you know shops barber shops are going back to work and not you know normality is coming back and although in england we haven't got it yet look around us these other countries it's starting to go back so i'm really going to promote these shops going back open because not on a financial scale at all but just seeing the door open and people sitting in chairs getting haircuts bro like it makes me just so happy um so two down nine to go um sure. Patience is a virtue right now. Sticking, sticking to the code, sticking to what we've been told to do is, you know, is vital. We've been patient. We've got this far. Um, hopefully, bro, inshallah, we'll be back no longer than a month. And we'll, like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll pick up where we left off. Um, but yeah, it's, it's testing times, bro, and it's been stressful. And I won't lie, and I don't want to put any kind of negative feeling out there. But of course, it's stressful. But at the same time, it's doing you, bro. <clears throat> and if I lost it all. If I lost it all, I'd go back and, and, and start something again and build something again. So whatever happens, bro, alhamdulillah, uh, qadr of Allah, and um, it's all good, basically. Yeah, man, 100%, 100%. That's the outlook that you got to have, man. You, that's the outlook you got to have. Of course. Um, I'm glad to hear, bro. I'm glad to hear you being positive. And um, and, and like you said, inshallah, you got, the, the, it's positive that you got two and inshallah three uh, very shortly uh, back open. So, yeah, man, it's, it's nice to hear nice an update, man. It's lovely to chat to you as well, bro, like for, for, for a nice lengthy period of time. I know we spoke last week, but... Um, it's been nice to get an episode together. Um, I, I think that whenever we do another episode, it'll be interesting because I want to, because um, uh, uh, I have some, uh, we've been hearing all of these coronavirus, um, uh, what do you call them? Can you hear Zachary in the back? He's having a tantrum. No, I can't hear him. Oh, the, the mic, mic might pick him up. Um, uh, what are they called? Um, these theories. Conspiracy theories? Yeah, yeah, conspiracy theories. There's a bunch. And um, I'm actually like one or two of them. I'm, 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 I think are fairly realistic. Not about the virus itself, but about the effects of the virus. And I, um, yeah, man, it'd be interesting to discuss that kind of in a future episode. 
Yeah, potentially. Really potentially. I, I'm, I'm, I'm avoiding it a little bit, to be fair. Like, especially talking about conspiracies with you, you always bait me out. One, one time I, I, I want to talk about. about. I want to talk about one that I have. So we always. Have. Okay, fine. You yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've been looking into it. Of course, I've been exploring what's been going on. Um, and if you do look into it, there's a lot of theories going on. But for me, every time you like go into it, it kind of sends you down like a bit of a, a spiral of just. It's just a bit crazy. So I'm aware of what's mm. going on. I'm aware of the theories. I've seen many, many things. Um, and I'm kind of just trying to forget about it in many ways because I'm, I, I've always said it. Like, conspiracy theories is the thing that got me into that, this, into this whole, like, re even religion, bro, honestly. Like, understanding what conspiracy, th conspiracy theories were, corruption, all this kind of stuff. Like, looking into it led me down, like, the path of actually discovering this thing. So I do, I'm not, I'm not saying they're all right. I do, t I do like, have show interest to them. But I'm not sure how healthy it is right right this minute in time for me anyway to kind of get too into it because uh, yeah it's negative man it's really negative and like when you like yeah well my, my 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 theory is nothing to do with the actual virus itself but it's more so to do with like how I feel like it's gonna once it's all said and done what, how what, how it will be used to, how like, so how society will be like. Well, so I, for, so for example, I think that you know how for a few years, like you and I have been talking about how we're very sh soon going to end up going into a completely cashless world where course, everything's yeah, paid by card. And yeah. I think that this, so nothing to do with how the virus started, but I think that the fact that this virus happened, um, that it'll be a very big um, proponent in like the government being able to push forward the idea of being, being becoming cashless. And cashless yeah. is great for them because then everything is logged, everything is tracked, and it's obviously everyone should follow the rules anyway. But yeah. um, you yeah, know, they would, within, I, you within, they would love for everything to be cashless. Sorry, what did you say, bro? I said they would love for everything to be going cashless anyway. I know we're moving in that direction in the, anyway, yeah. but we do need we did, we did need something to like push us, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That might be but, it. But I don't know whether this will be the main thing that will literally make it cashless, or it will be a massive kind of push towards it, if that makes sense. I believe well, there will be something about, else yeah. that will be the, the cut-off for cash. Yeah, maybe. Like, even, maybe, maybe, like, maybe, even yeah. the fact that, you know, old £20 notes are going to be uh, valid, um, this valid uh, at the end of this year. Like, yeah. If you actually think about that, how many people who would actually have like? So we're going to start seeing more and more and more. Whether whether when we go back, it will be a cashless. But I, I believe this is a, a major push from them on that direction. Yeah, and and many other things as well. But like I said, it's a, when you start when you start when you start going into this, yeah, you can open so many different. Yeah. Um, I mean different doors, but even if you like look into all the five G stuff and all this kind of stuff, it's... yeah, I haven't looked into any of that. I've heard yeah. about, I haven't. Maybe you can educate me one day when it's all said and done. Maybe. All right, bro. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, and that, I started already. Yeah, that went so quickly, didn't it? Yeah, I know, man. So quick. But inshallah, let's do another one, man. In a few days, next right. week or whatever. Yeah, fine, fine, yeah? fine. All right, bro. We'll catch up. Bro, good to see you. Good to speak to you, man. And you, man. Take care. Take care. Salam alaikum. All right, love you, bro. Salam alaikum. Love you too, bro.